Mr. Wisinghunt, of course, you know, you were the number one choice the whole time. We can't wait to have you as a Detroit Lion. In the last video, oh, about Lovey Smith, that was a joke, of course. Uh, yeah, it, it was a complete joke. Um, you're the number one choice. We want you here as the Detroit Lions head coach. I mean, you know, best of wishes to you and the San Diego Chargers. As soon as your playoff run is over, hopefully it's after the Super Bowl, uh, we want you here. Yeah, that, that last video was a complete joke. Jerry Mallory here, SBNationPriveDetroit.com. Now that I've cleared the air with Coach Ken Wisenhunt, it's time to talk about him. It's time to talk about Tony Dungy. It's time to talk about Bob Stoops. Yeah, no joke. Uh, we all heard the news. We know what's going on in terms of the Lions coaching search. I'm here to chime in and give you my two cents. And at the very end, I have a special message for one of the coaching candidates. Let's start with Tony Dungy. Now, Dude, Tony, why play with the emotions of the Lions fan like this? We all heard it. If he were to come back, this would be the preeminent coaching job. This would be the job he wants. This is the team that's closest to winning the Super Bowl out of all the vacant jobs. It's like, dude, if you're not going to come back, don't play with us like that. Don't play with the emotions of the fans like that. I mean, you want to talk about a tease. Goodness grief, brother. You're a Michigander. You know, some people are saying this is a, a, a plea. This is a subtle uh, plea, or not so subtle plea, however you want to view it, uh, to Mayhew and to LeWine and the Ford saying, hey, if you give me a call, I'd be interested. But maybe he's just honestly speaking the truth. He doesn't want to come back, but if he were to come back, which he doesn't want to, it would be here. If that's the case, Mr. Dungy, that is a sick and cruel joke. I mean, if you go on privatetroit.com, the message board, the fan post. I mean, it's going crazy. Everybody wants Dungy. Uh, for me, I'd be happy if he came here. But I'm still leaning toward the guy that has coached a little bit more recently. Maybe a guy that's hungry. Uh, someone at the website gave a great analogy, the Larry Brown syndrome. Uh, Larry Brown came to the Detroit Pistons. Lots of accolades. One thing was missing was an NBA championship. So he was hungry. I get it. Some coaches are always going to be hungry for a championship. Bill Belichick, if he wins three, he wants four. If he wins four, he wants ten. Maybe, Dungeon, you fall into that category. But some do worry. This is the one. This is the new contract. You get the big money. You already got the Super Bowl. You want to win the Super Bowl, but how hungry will you truly be? At the end of the day, we're left wondering. We don't know, you know, because more than likely he's not going to come back. So we're playing this guessing game and this waiting pattern uh, for the hot chick. That is never going to be interested in you. It's like she's she's gone. You guys have both graduated. You know, you're in college in New York. She's in L.A. And she, and she says, yeah, I, I would have totally dated you, but now I'm dating someone else. Or now I'm married. Now I'm off the market. And you're like, man, don't play with my emotions like that. You're better off not hearing it either way. And, and this is the case with Tony Dungy. We'll have to wait and see. Ken Wisenhunt uh, looks like the lead candidate so far. Offensive coordinator for the San Diego Chargers. Their team just won. They defeated my Super Bowl contending pick, the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, picked them to represent the AFC, losing to the 49ers. Uh, that's not going to happen now because Ken Wisenhunt's team that he's the offensive coordinator of moves on to the next round. Now, uh, when this game first started, I was rooting for Cincinnati for uh, obvious reasons. I picked them to win, but my hope was that the Chargers would be out the mix. And we can go ahead and get this thing going with Ken Wisenhunt. This is actually good. Uh, you guys at Private Detroit are as smart as a whip. There's nothing that's going to get past you. It's better for San Diego to keep winning because Ken Wisenhunt's going to get that interview. It looks like the job is his to lose, according to uh, speculations, Adam Schefter and Jason Lockon for. So, you know, them going further in the playoffs is not going to mean the Lions uh, probably won't give him a fair shake. No matter how many guys they interview, unless something happens drastically, uh, they're going to wait for Ken Wisenhunt and at least give him a fair shot. Well, the fact that they're still in the playoffs means that they'll interview more candidates as they're waiting for their main guy. That's good because due diligence, uh, you can't go wrong with it. Now, Jim Caldwell, uh, some will say he's a Rooney Rule candidate. Only reason he got brought in. Very impressed by the fact that, you know, he looked at every one of Stafford's passes. Stafford was there. They went over things. It says a lot of things. Number one. The Lions are serious about this. They want a guy that can fix, help, work on the mechanics of Stafford. This is why Jim Caldwell came so prepared. This is what the Lions want. 
Stafford being there seemed as though he was receptive. It's a little bit contrary to what we heard during the season when he said he doesn't need fixing. He doesn't need a, a, a QB guru. He doesn't need a technique change. That's not how he rolls. Didn't like that attitude. Stafford, you know, by all things I've seen, is a hard worker. He's a guy that wants to fix things. He's the same guy that took a, such a short vacation last year to get better. So if he can convince himself that he needs to work on his technique, he's going to do it. He's going to work on his technique. If he can convince himself that, yes, he needs help, he needs coaching, something that he probably didn't get a ton of the last few years, then he's going to work at it. And if he works at those things, he'll get better, and the sky's the limit for this guy. It's all up here. And by him meeting with Caldwell, seemed like it went well. Caldwell had some, some critiques for him, and he seemed to be receptive to it. Maybe, just maybe, uh, he's shedding that, I don't need a coach technique. I don't need a uh, someone telling me what to do. I don't roll like that. I'm a free thrower, you know, freestyle type of guy. Maybe he's shedding that attitude. As the Jim Schwartz regime is slowly fading away, he's starting to realize, well, this new guy is going to be doing X, Y, Z. Or maybe my mechanics aren't the best. If he can change that, then I'm all I'm all for it. I think he will, and the sky's the limit for this guy. Uh, but the Caldwell interview, impressive. He was prepared. Uh, and the regime is clearly looking for a guy that's going to help with the quarterback. So uh, that's very, very encouraging. Uh, so many times as fans, we want to see a coach that can do this, that, and the other thing. And, hey, we're not the professionals. They are. But for whatever reason, they go the, the complete opposite, or they'll say, hey, you know, Stafford's fine. We don't need a, a, someone to help him. That's not the mantra. Clearly, Mayhew, Lawan, and company say, yeah, Stafford needs help, and we want the next coach to be instrumental in it. So that's very, very promising. Bob Stoops, I mean, this is in 2005. Uh, the name's being brought up. I don't want a college guy. The only college guy I would have considered was Bill O'Brien. I know David Shaw is a hot name. I'll say it once, I'll say it again. My two top guys were Lovey Smith, they were Ken Wisenhunt. They fit the criteria. No thanks to Bob Stoops. Uh, keep doing your thing. Congratulations on your bowl victory. So, uh, here we are once again, uh, waiting another week. We can interview Ken Wisenhunt, but we won't be able to hire him. So, more than likely, uh, the coaching carousel for the Detroit Lions will keep going round and round and round until San Diego loses, whenever that is. And at that point, they'll have enough guys interviewed. They'll have enough candidates. And what it looks like is going to happen is they'll probably bring in Ken Wisenhunt. But anything can happen. I mean, Dungey can change his mind at the last minute. Uh, someone else can be very impressive. Maybe the interview with Wisenhunt doesn't go that well. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to end off with this, though. Like I said, I'm leaning toward a Wisenhunt. But you guys at Private Detroit, the fans have spoken. You guys, you want Tony Dungey. And I'm a team player. Like I said, I wouldn't be mad if a John Gruden or Tony Dungy was our coach. So uh, I went ahead and I prepared a, a brief video, a ransom, if you will, for Mr. Tony Dungy. I'm a team player. This is what the private Detroit fans and the viewers, the watchers want. Then I'm going to do everything I can to bring them to you. Here is my ransom to one Tony Dungy. We're going to end the video off with that. Leave your comments and everything about the coaching carousel. We're going to start talking about a few things coming up soon, not related to coaching. We're going to talk about the draft. We've got some free agent targets I'm going to talk about soon. I'll give you a hint. One of them named uh, Rise with Morakpo, as a guy I like to see here. Uh, so leave your comments about the coaching and anything else, and I'll end it off with this ransom. I'm a team player. He's not my number one choice, but he's your number one choice. And as a private truck representative, I'm going to do what I can to bring him to you. Thanks for watching. Enjoy this quick clip. It's a ransom, a threat, if you will, an ultimatum for one Tony Dungy. Enjoy. Quick bonus. Don't worry. We're going to get to the, uh, the ransom video in just a second. A guy that may now become a coaching candidate, Marvin Lewis. Let's take a look at this thing. Uh, has not been able to get it done with Cincinnati. He's taken them to the playoffs. They have not been able to get it done in the playoffs. Uh, so many times his job has been on the line. He kind of uh, does something out of the ordinary, and they go on a winning streak, and you know he saves his job. Is it the last straw for him? If so, how would you like Marvin Lewis being the head coach of the Detroit Lions? I just had to add that in there. I forgot to mention it. It's something I definitely want you to talk about. A uh, buddy of mine, Rob, talking about the potential of Marvin Lewis coming in. I'm like, yeah, that would be pretty cool. 
I'm going to turn that one over to you. And now, enjoy the ransom video. Tony Benji, until you become the Lions head coach, I'm going to stand here in the 2014 Michigan Blizzard. 12 inches of snow will accumulate. We'll probably reach somewhere around there in my shins. I'll get very cold and potentially sick. I mean, you're a real respected and respectable guy. You don't want to see a fellow Michigander go through that. I'll make it happen. 